Hello guys and welcome back to Kentucky Home Garage. Uh, today I want to show you <coughs> uh, methods that I use to uh, find out if my uh, EGR valve is stuck open. Uh, now the uh, digital, e there's a, basically two different types of EGR valves. It's a digital EGR valve and the vacuum control uh, EGR valve. On the digital one, uh, uh, the valve itself has a uh, uh, position sensor built in, so if a uh, your valve is stuck open, uh, most likely going to have a trouble code stored in your in your computer. And if somebody erased the codes, uh, we can uh, look into the data and the uh, feeds and uh, see what is the uh, desire and what's actual um, uh, position of the uh, EGR valve. And uh, if the uh, actual is more than than a desire, then we know our EGR valve is open. Now. Uh, uh, the problem with the um, uh, EGR valve that is stuck open uh, will be at the idle, where basically we have a like a vacuum leak, because too much air entering the uh, our uh, intake manifold, and the uh, computer is going to have a hard time to to enrich the mixture to keep car running. So anyway, the EGR valve system, each EGR system is designed to uh, uh, push some of the um, uh, exhaust gases back into the intake for a better uh, uh, emission, a better uh, gas mileage, uh, even the, I think it, it can uh, cool down the cylinder as, uh, as well. Uh, so uh, now the, uh, the, the, the most troubling the EGR valves, the one is actually the vacuum controlled. And uh, the Ford does have a vacuum controlled EGR valve, but it also has the uh, sensor as a DPFE, DP, DP, DPFI, DPFE sensor, I'm sorry, delta pressure feedback sensor, that is a um, looking at the um, uh, flow of the of the uh, uh, exhaust gases uh, through our intake, and if there is a valve that's op open, uh, the computer is going to flag the code. Now, other um, uh, vacuum control valves, uh, computer mostly looking at the uh, input from the MAP uh, sensor. And uh, if it uh, doesn't like the, what MAP sensor is reporting, it's going to flag the code. Now, uh, how are we going to figure out if the MAP, if the EGR, is, it's, it's open? Uh, for the vacuum controlled uh, system, uh, there's a two way that the, the valve can be stuck open. Uh, one is just a Basically, that the valve itself is mechanically stuck. It's not going back to the pintle. It's not going back into the uh, closed position. And uh, and the other one is uh, the way the computer controls it. There's a solenoid that is a control by the computer, and the solenoid actually controls a the vacuum that uh, that is applied to our EGR valve. So if, uh, for instance, uh, solenoid is stuck open then we're going to have a con continuous flow of vacuum. The vacuum is going to be applied on our EGR valve and therefore the EGR valve is going to get open unintentionally. Or if there's electrical issue where maybe control wire is grounded and, uh, and it will energize the solenoid right away and it will open up the solenoid as well and it will apply the vacuum to our EGR valve. So uh, uh, I'm going to, this is the uh, ML320 we had a actual EGR code on this uh, car and I had a uh, plugged up pipe from the EGR. I'm going to leave the link in the description to that video. But basically, <clears throat> there's a two different two, two ways we can, uh, we can diagnose the stuck open EGR valve. One is uh, with a vacuum gauge and another one is with a thermometer. And uh, either, either one works pretty well. Now, uh, with the uh, thermometer, uh, the best way to uh, do this test is with, with engine cold. And uh, what we can do, we can measure a temperature of our intake manifold and the temperature of our EGR valve. Now, if the, uh, on this one, we're going to actually uh, measure the temperature on the EGR pipe, the, the, the pipe that's connected between the, that connects the uh, EGR valve to uh, intake. And uh, I will uh, manually, uh, I will uh, uh, apply the vacuum to my EGR valve. I'm going to have it open and they're going to see what is the difference in the temperature. Now, once the engine is cold, 
I mean, once uh, once an engine is hot, uh, this say, this may be misleading a little bit because the difference in the temperature is not going to be that much because all the hot gases that's going to enter the uh, intake manifold is going to warm up the intake manifold anyway. So this this test will not be valid. Uh, you you should be able to see some differences, but not as uh, significant difference as you can see on the on the cold engine. I'm sorry, and um, also. If we uh, put a, uh, a vacuum gauge, <clears throat> and if we see a very low vacuum in our intake, that is a, another uh, indication that we might have a, uh, uh, basically air is coming from, unintentionally coming from, unwanted air is actually entering the, uh, the our intake manifold. Uh, when we uh, diagnose these things, we would first look at the, uh, at the, our, uh, uh, the pids on our on our skin tool and basically show the long-term fuel trim and on these kind of problems as, as any, any any vacuum leak we're going to have our numbers elevated basically computers going to start adding the fuel and um, most likely our next next step will be to smoke the engine or maybe uh, uh, take the uh, carb cleaner kind of spray around the engine to see if you have any vacuum leak and if that doesn't uh, if you don't find the vacuum leak that way, then we can go and check the EGR valve. <clears throat> so uh, let me uh, <clears throat> I'll show you guys uh, what are we going to work here. So this is a you know 320 ml, and uh, right right in here is our uh, down there is actually EGR valve. But this pipe here is the pipe. That connects the EGR valve to a intake manifold, and now we're going to take the measure. And we're going to we're going to measure the, the temperature on this valve, on this pipe. Once I uh, energize the, once I apply vacuum to my EGR valve, and I actually did un unplug the uh, EGR and I put this hose on. And I have a pump down on the floor, and I'll apply vacuum and open my uh, force to open my EGR valve, and then I will uh, <coughs> we'll look at the gauge on the on our uh, on our vacuum. <coughs> I'm sorry, uh, we're going to look at the vacuum first. I'm going to start the car and we'll see what the numbers we're going to have on our scan tool, what the vacuum gauge is going to read, and then we're going to energize, we're going to uh, open the valve and see what, uh, what reading we're going to have. Okay, so uh, this is the uh, our long uh, short fuel trim on bank one and bank two looks pretty normal. Uh, this is my uh, vacuum gauge from 15. There. Now uh, the temperature on my uh, intake right now is uh, around 80, 82, and uh, the pipe it's actually uh, it's like around 70. So let's go ahead and uh, there you go. Uh, I'm gonna turn my uh, See the uh, immediately our uh, look at the gauge here goes to uh, five actually so there's an uh, unmetered air coming into the intake. So this is the first clue that you're going to have a open EGR valve and our fuel trim is uh, climbing as the computer is adding the fuel. And let's do this test. We have a uh, 84, 86, and let's see here. And you can see the 100 and, uh, I'm shaking a little bit, there you go, 115. Now we can see the big difference between the temperature and the intake and, uh, and our uh, 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 EGR pipe. Well, okay guys, um, I hope this video is going to help someone uh, diagnose the open, uh, stock open EGR valve. Uh, as you could see, our vacuum gauge went down to five uh, and uh, from 15. So that's basically tells us that actually, because the valve was open, it elevated the pressure inside the intake manifold, and that's the first red flag that you're going to have some kind of a uh, uh, malfunctioning of the, on the EGR valve. And when we look at the temperature on our intake and our uh, EGR pipe, you could see that it was a 30 degree difference. But now, if you wanna, if you decide to use a temperature gauge, I mean the the, the if you wanna check the temperature on it, do it on, on the cold engine. 
And once the engine is, is warmed up, that exhaust gases will warm up the uh, intake and that's, uh, you will not see a lot of difference in the temperature. So uh, that's it guys, I know you could uh, see our, um, the uh, fuel trim is elevated because the computer is adding the fuel and um, okay, this is it. I hope you guys liked the video. Please subscribe and uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.